again, everybody. Fiber Spider here with another card game for you. Today, we are going to be playing a little solitaire game called Wish Solitaire. And uh, it's really simple. It's really fast. There's a little bit of luck. And believe it or not, there is a little bit of strategy. Also, it has a very small play area, which I really, really, really like with playing solitaire games. You know, it's nice, it's compact, and it's very, very quick. The only thing that you do need to do is a little bit of setup for your deck of cards. It takes a regular deck, but you have to remove a bunch of cards in order to start playing, which I already did. So you remove the jokers, and then the various cards, uh, sixes, fives, fours, threes, and twos leaving ace through king, queen, jack, ten, nine, eight, and seven in your deck, all four suits. So I already removed all of the various cards. I'm going to put those to the side. Now, a variation that I think might be interesting is if you leave in the jokers to help facilitate things a little bit further, adding sort of a wild card element going to give my cards a little bit of a shuffle and then we will do our layout which again very simple very small going to create eight piles of four cards each in front of me and just keep going until all of my cards are dealt out and then flip over the top card of each pile. And there you go, and we can start to play Wish Solitaire. Okay, so gameplay, very, very easy. Uh, basically, all you need to do is just form pairs of cards together, remove them, and then flip over the next cards. Now you're probably thinking, well, it's all up to chance. Yes and no. There is a little bit of strategy because if you have cards underneath the one that you're going to group up as a pair, <clears throat> excuse me, um, go for those. However, once you run out of cards, and you only have one card left, well, you can't refill that empty space once you use up all those cards. So it's better to play cards with cards underneath them so you can unlock further cards. So there's a little bit of strategy involved. For instance, uh, let's see, we've got two aces, two jacks, and that's all we have as far as pairing. So let's get rid of the aces and get rid of the jacks and flip over the next cards. But if you ever have three of the same uh, number, well, then, you know, go with the one where it has, you know, still cards underneath it. So we've got two sevens, two tens. Okay, we're, we're making some progress here. Get rid of the two tens and the two sevens. Flip, 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 and flip. Okay. Um, well, I do have two queens, and I have two kings. Okay, so let's make this work. Two queens, two kings. See, right now, this one right here, I have no cards underneath here, so once I play this, there's nothing else to unlock. So if I can unlock something else, let's go for that. Perfect example right here. See, this one does not have anything underneath it. However, these two eights do have cards underneath them. So I would play those first to facilitate the unlocking of more cards. Makes sense, right? Okay, now... 
Um, got these two nines. I actually I've got three nines. I've got these three. All three have cards underneath them. So that being said, this only has one card underneath. These have multiples. Go with those first. There we go. And I've got two aces, two jacks. Let's go with the aces. Okay. Um, now, the jack and the king, those don't have anything underneath, nor does this eight. However, these two nines do. That's nice. Let's unlock some more cards. Okay, well, let's do the jack. Now, this pile is out of commission, so that's my jacks. And you can do these queens. This pile's out. Okay, you can do these kings. Do these tens, these eights, and the sevens. Da -da! And there you go. Really, really, really quite simple. And you know what? It's so quick and so easy. I think let's do another hand, shall we? Okay. All right, so I've been shuffling up my cards a little bit. By the way, this deck of cards, which I really, really like, this actually I got when I purchased a uh, another game called Be Like a Crow, and this was one of the extras. And I just thought, you know, it has a really nice aesthetic to it. By the way, not sponsored, but <laughs> I rather liked the cards. Okay, let's deal out and see what there is to see. Now, of course, there is always the possibility of losing, naturally. However, I think that with my strategy, it works out rather nicely. And even though the game is largely based on luck, I think that the strategy works out pretty well. Let's flip up the top ones and see if I am as lucky this time as I was last time. Okay, so right off the bat, 10 and 10. Flip and flip. Okay, queen and queen. Two eights. Two jacks, okay, now this nine, nothing underneath it, so try to avoid using up that nine if I can. Well, got these two eights right here, let's do those. Okay, see, I've got this nine, nothing underneath, these two nines do, so let's do those first. Okay, got two sevens with cards underneath. This one does not, so let's do these. Again, a king with nothing underneath, two kings with cards underneath. Okay, I really need to get rid of this ace. Well, got these queens with cards underneath. Perfect. This ace is really going to mess me up. <laughs> All right, let's get rid of these sevens. Got a dead pile. And, oh, I'm going to run into trouble. Okay. Got these jacks. 
And now, got these nines, these kings, and we've got two piles. Chances are there are aces and tens underneath here. Chances are. Let's see what we got. Look at that! Aces and tens. How about that? What are the odds? And more aces. See, it can happen. But I think that the strategy is pretty sound, actually. And for the most part, it works because, you know, like once the pile is dead, you really can't go much further with it. But, you know, you can work with what you got. So that being said, that, my dears, is Wish Solitaire. Uh, hope that you like the game. If you did, please give a little thumbs up button down below. You know that I appreciate your appreciation, and I love showing you guys new games and, you know, my experiences with them and so forth. Um, if you guys have any recommendations of other games that I could play on here, um, preferably, of course, of a solo, solitaire nature so that I can present it to you in full. Um, also, one last thing, don't forget, as far as preparing your deck, you have to get rid of the sixes, fives, fours, threes, and twos. Got to remove those out of your deck in order to be able to play this. Also, one last thing, like I said before, you could incorporate the jokers. Granted, it would throw the number of cards in your piles off a little bit. However, those, those could be used as wild cards if you get stuck like I did. I think it's not a bad idea. Let me know what you think in the comments section. And as always, thank you once again for joining me. And you know what to do until next time, right? I want all of you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, playing fun, fabulous games, feathered or otherwise, and take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now, everybody, and have a great day.